Hello? Hello. Hey, hello, uh, my name's Rook. Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, my name's Roly. This ain't no Roly. Go ahead with that voice, B. How you looking, man? I'm doing great. Yo, yo, what up with the voice, though, B? You like... <laughs> you didn't expect me to sound like this? Yeah, real talk, B. Real talk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling, man? What's good with you? Good. Just got out of the gym. Getting ready for camp. Uh, getting ready for uh, two weeks. I fight. You said two weeks. Yeah. All right. All right. So we 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 go. Um, this me by myself. You know what I mean? So we go, I'm gonna record the conversation. You know what I mean? So, huh? What's your name? Xavier Porter, BrooklynFights.com. Xavier Porter. Xavier. Uh, Xavier. What's your ethnicity? You black? Huh? You're black? Of course I'm black. Yeah. You, know, you can call me Javier in Spanish. <laughs> You're a brother like me. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I may be light skin, but I'm still a dark nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What's good with you, bro? No, not even much, you know, just getting ready to fight all this shit, you know? Yeah. You making you making a lot of noise though, B. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you have to miss for if you don't make no noise, you don't sell no tickets, you don't sell no tickets, you don't make no money. Facts, you facts. No money, shit, you can't find that shit at the strip club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we you know what I mean, this is you know what I mean, so how you feeling though? What's good out there? Honestly, I feel great. You know, it, it, it's been a really good camp so far. I've been focused. Uh, I haven't been doing anything stupid lately. And uh, I feel, like I said, I feel great. Where are you training at? I'm sitting, I train here in Las Vegas at the gym called City Athletic. Okay, so, you, so you're not training at the, um, the Mayweather gym? No, nah, I'm not training there. Okay, okay. So, you know, the reason why I wanted to highlight you and talk to you you know, what I mean, not just because of everything I've been seeing on social media and everything. I just wanted to, like, kind of lock in and, you know, check you out and, you know, hear your story and everything so that others can kind of understand exactly who you are as Raleigh, as a fighter, and everything that you, you know, continue to do. And, um, you know, just, you know, see what's going on with you, you know what I mean? Because you, you, you've been in a lot of sparring matches and, you're highly touted, and there's a lot of going on on IG and everything. So, you know, walk me through everything, man. Walk me through everything, man. Well, shit, I mean, I sparred so many pros, war champs, every, you know, everything. You know, I sparred everybody, you know. And um, I don't get no work. I, I, I don't get no sparring. I don't get no nothing, you know, because uh, I stopped pretty much everybody, you know. And people are terrified of me, especially here in Vegas. Everybody's terrified of me, you know. Okay. So, you know, you're not getting, like you just said, you're not getting any work. But you, you know, you've been working with a lot of, a lot of people. I, I, I want to get to the real, man. I want to know more about you because everybody want to know who Raleigh is. You know what I mean? Let me know who Raleigh is. I, I want to know the first name, last name, and who you are and, and, and the power that you rep- the, the power that you have and what you're trying to do in the sport right now. Let it go. Uh, my first last name, Rolanda Romero. Uh, I'm born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, my dad's Cuban from uh, Santiago de Cuba, uh, where most of the fucking gold medals and all the Cubans from. Um, my mom, she's from Long Beach. Uh, my sister, well, I think it's for Anaheim, but, you know, I lived in Cali for a little bit, but, I, you know, I'm back to Vegas. Um, I like, uh, I, I, I don't know, I started boxing five years ago. I find it pleasurable to knock people out. It's something I've always been good at. I, hold on, hold on, Fabo. Hold up. You said you, you just find it pleasurable to knock people out? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know why. It's it just, like, it excites me, you know, and, like, just knowing the, 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 fuck, I can't say it right now, um, Anatomy of the body, you know, when you, know, you can hit them right here and they're fucking hurt. You hit them in the temple, it fucks up their equilibrium. You hit them in the liver, it fucking paralyzes them. You know, in solar plexus, you, you fucking take away all their wind. And it's fucking painful, you know. You hit them in the, in the fucking lower spleen and it paralyzes them too. 
you know, you hit him in the kidneys and that shit, you know, it's just like a fucking, you hit him in the kidney and then, you know, they still that shit, you know, uh, not, maybe not the, with that round, but the second that their body freezes up for a second, like, slow, slows down and they, they, they cool down. Yeah. Oh my god, that shit just starts killing them and it's just like a slow fucking, like a fucking domino set downward, you know? Yeah. Like that. I don't know all this shit, you know. I, I, like I said, I, I'm a true, I'm a true knockout artist. I know where to hit people, and I, I find it, you know, I, I know where to punch people, where it hurts, and all this stuff, you know. And I find it pleasurable, you know, because I find it as a fucking art. I, I, I find it beautiful. Mm. Like, like you painting a picture there. You, like you looking at, like you know, like you the artist, you Picasso with all that. Yeah, you know, and you know, you throw a combination right here, you know, you hit a fucking right hand right there. And you hit them with a hook, and then they, they, they lift up their hands, and you hit them with a fucking body shot to the liver, and then that shit drop their hands, and you knock them out with a fucking right hand on top, or, you know, something like that, and bro, it's like painting a fucking picture. Mmm. That's, that's nice. I feel, I feel where you're coming from with that. Um, so how did you start? You know, what, what made you, you know, start fighting and everything? First and foremost, how old are you? I'm 22 years old, and I started boxing when I was 17. My dad tried to force me when I was, like, five, and uh, I, it wasn't for me. I, I I didn't like it, you know? And my mom told my dad to chill the fuck out with that shit, and um, my dad chilled the fuck out, so I didn't I didn't start boxing until I was 17. And I, I started boxing because I, was, I started boxing December 2017, you know? Yeah. I mean, not 2017, 20, 2012. And, um, I was, uh, so I'm going on six years in December, is well, August, so, you know, I've been boxing five and a half years now. But it, we were watching the, the, the Summer Olympics of 20, of 2012, right? And I was like, hey, Bob, these guys are, these guys are some chumps, man. I, I fuck these guys up. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know you can, you know, so I was like, watch, well, after this tournament, because uh, I, I used to do judo, right? I'm like, after this tournament in December, the last national, you know? Um, okay. I'll show you. And uh, after that tournament, you know, I went to the boxing gym, and the first uh, the first day I went in there, I sparred, and uh, I broke the kid's nose. And it was some kid that had like a national title or some shit, you know, and I broke his nose. And um, from there, you know, my dad just kept putting me in spar, and spar, and spar, and spar, you know. Everybody that, and I was just stopping kids, you know. I, I was throwing haymakers and like unpredictable punches, and I was like. Like, yeah, I, I was terrible. I was a terrible boxer, but, I mean, I just punch hard, you know? So, and my dad's always knocked people out, you know? My dad's strong fucking boxer. I mean, I could go down the list of fucking, so many fucking pro boxers. My dad's fucking smart, you know? And I heard him, you know? Yeah. And what my dad is, he came here when he was fucking, like, what, 35, 36? Where, where, and where did, where did your father come from? Cuba. Okay. Yeah, man, I came here when he was, what, 35, 36, did two years in Cuba for fucking trying to escape the country the first time. And then, uh, and then when he tried to escape, we fucking swam across, uh, this, this, uh, this port that connects Guantanamo to Guantanamo Bay. And he swam there over fucking night. He lost his friend. His friend fucking drowned in the ocean. So, so he physically swam. Your father. Yeah, he physically swam. And And he lost his friend in the water. Yeah. Yeah, his friend drowned. It was an overnight swim, you know, and my dad, uh, he saw, like, this small little raft, right? Yeah. And, uh, my dad went to swim to go get it, because my, my dad's friend, uh, he had, uh, he, he was, uh, he was already feel he, he couldn't take it no more, so my dad started carrying him, uh, half the way, and my dad saw a raft, my dad told him to wait there. Yeah. And in the middle of the night, you know, no, no lights, no nothing, you know, my dad sees a raft, he goes swimming, and then I guess the guy had drowned, you know, mm-hmm. and... And my dad didn't see him ever. My dad called out and screamed out his name, but he was, I'm guessing he was already under the ocean. So, sounds like, sounds like Sc- the Scarface movie and, and, and the mix of Tom Hanks' Castaway, in a sense to me, you know. Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's a little bit harder than the Scarface movie. Cause I, I know. Trust me. I, I feel you. Trust me. I know. <laughs> I feel you. And, and uh, at that point, Castro uh, was letting people escape, you know? He didn't care who, who left the country or not, you know? Yeah. But when my dad left, my dad left in 94, early 94, you know? Yeah. And at that, at that point... Um, but that's, you know, that, that's real, though, that your father swam. Like, he had to, like, you know, physically swim to another level, to another, you know... Yeah, 
shark infested water. And yeah. it's not just sharks, but it's barracudas. Barracudas will come up and bite yeah. your face, you know? Yeah. Um, but the thing about my dad, that, that makes my dad's story interesting, you know, my, my, my dad did it, you know, and the, the way my dad did it, you know, because he was just like, he was get, he, uh, they, let, they released him from prison. My dad was, uh, out for, for, I don't even think a full week, right? And my, and one of, uh, my dad's friend that decided to leave with him was like, man, I can't take this place no more, you know? And just out of nowhere, and they left without telling nobody. They just told, uh, one of my dad's friends, uh, my godfather. And, uh, he, my godfather said, I ain't fucking leaving this country. I want to stay here. I love this place. Mm. And my dad left, and it's his biggest regret ever, and he hopes he, he wishes he never left, and he wishes to go back spend the rest of his life there. Okay. So that's where the passion and, and, and the drive comes from you, like, fuck everybody, I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. Uh, not really, I, I, I do my thing. That, that's, more, that, that's just a joke. I, that, that was just a joke. That was just a joke. <laughs> I, I, well, the reason why I box, I box for selfish reasons. Okay, well, we'll, we'll talk on that. Go ahead. I box, well, one, because I'm a fucking douchebag and I like beating the fuck out of people. Two, <laughs> I want, I want you you get pleasure out of that. You get pleasure out of that shit. <laughs> yeah, and two, I just want a fuck ton of money and a fuck ton of fame, you know, and... Yeah. I, I, that, that's honestly what I, I don't... I really don't care for for any of that. You know, that's what I want, you know. I want fucking titles. I, want, I, I, I box for myself. I don't box for nobody else. For, you know, I, I look at it like this, you know, I mean, I, of course, I love my family, you know, when I make it, you know, I'm going to fucking help to, to the max, you know, but I box for myself. I, I, I don't box for any of that shit. I truly just box for myself. Mm. And I, 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 I'm a selfish person. And not, nobody will admit that shit. Boxers, a lot of boxers, they won't fucking admit that shit. Okay. I will, So you say you box as you selfish. You you want everything. You want all the glory. You want everything. I want everything, man. I want I want money. I want fame. I want power. And I mean, my my true my true goals they don't end at boxing. Mm. I, don't, I I honestly don't even want to get into that. But they don't end at boxing. Well, get into that. I would like to know more about it. I really don't want to talk about. I really don't want to talk about that one. Okay. Okay. You want you, you want to take over the world? I got you. I got you. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a kid's dream, you know. You know, you grow up. You know, you want to be president of the United States. You want to do this. You want to do that. I, I know I ain't gonna be president. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm too stupid for that. But uh, I, I got somebody in mind. Uh, you know, I, I want to have some kind of political power. You know. I feel you. So, all right. So let's get back to the boxing, then. You know, I mean, you you've been tearing up the the Instagram, you've been tearing up the social media, you've been tearing up the YouTube. Because every time I, I, you know, I click on it, everything all I hear is rally this, rally that. You know what I mean? So I want I want to know the real about everything about you, as well as the fighters that I previously mentioned earlier. You know, I mean. Where, 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 where you, what, what class are you fighting at right now? The weight class? Yeah. 135 uh, lightweight. Where do you feel comfortable at? 135 lightweight. Yeah. I used to be 130 uh, when I did my debut, and I felt amazing at 130. Like, uh, But uh, I went on a layoff for like seven, eight months, you know, and they were the promotions. They weren't throwing those shows and stuff, so I mean. And they called me eight days before a fight, and I, you know, I lost fucking losing weight before a fight is like pain and death. Mm. Especially you don't have no time, we yeah. don't have nothing or something, you know. And um, so I put on one thirty five, and I fought at one thirty five. I said, "Fuck yeah, I like this weight class, and I'm gonna stay at this weight," you know. Are you still signed with um with Mayweather Promotions or not? I, I am still currently signed to Mayweather Promotions, and um, for how long? For I believe another year year and a half, I believe. What are your thoughts? My thoughts on them? Yeah. Uh, he's a great, uh, as far as Floyd or Mayweather Promotion? Everything. Both. F 
Floyd's a great fighter, and you know he is he's wrote down his fucking legacy, and he's an amazing fighter. Um, as far as my work promotion, they just need to film more shows. That's okay. All. Yeah, you want to fight more? Yeah, they pay really well when they when you do fight. They pay really well. Okay. They they pay they pay good, but you want to fight more. Yeah, which you know if I if I'm fighting ten rounders, fighting three times a year, that, that's not bad, you know. Yeah. Because you know, uh, you know, but as far as like fighting four rounders, uh, all my fights have been four rounders so far, you know. Yeah. And as far as that goes, you know, I have to uh, I have to fight more consistently to, to put uh, food on the table, you know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, I understand that. And, and I'm and I'm definitely, I, I definitely believe that Floyd. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say Floyd. Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> and then Lena Ellaby uh-huh. and the whole team. They they understand that, you know. They they are the management company, the promotion team, you know. So they definitely understand. That. And and they know that they have a good fighter in you. So therefore, they are, I'm assuming, I'm I'm pretty sure that they're working with you the way they need to work with you. I think when they first signed me, you know, I think the only one that really truly saw my potential was Floyd because he was the one that saw, and everybody at Floyd's gym, you know, because they were the ones seeing me fucking just tearing apart person after person, you know? Yeah. But uh, as far as, uh, I, I don't think anybody else in the promotion company really saw my potential until uh, just uh, recently, you know? Yeah. With, yeah. Which I, I don't mind, you know, now not, not, not they know who I am, what I'm about and all that stuff, and I'm happy with that, you know? Yeah, you rally. I mean, you, you, you've been out there, you know what I mean? Like I said early, you've been, you've been calling out dudes, you've been checking out dudes, and, you know, you've been throwing out the videos, and, you know what I mean? You've been, you know what I mean? You've been, you've been in the ring for certain, you've been in the ring with certain fighters. So, what's your take on everybody that's, in in and around your division. I mean you got like I said earlier, Ryan Garcia, Shakir Stevens, Shakir Stevenson or Shakir Stevens, um Richardson Hitchens, you know, what's good with all that? Like, you know, everybody wanna know, because you rally. <laughs> uh, with Richardson Hitchens, uh I fucked him up already. I can't, um, I mean, he's a cool little boxer, but I mean, it, 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 he's just only going to go as far as, like, tell somebody that as you pressure his ass, going to fucking just tear, tear him up, you know? And you really believe that? Him. You really believe that? Yeah, I mean, he's a cool little boxer, you know, but he, in the pro game, if you don't have no pop, you ain't, you ain't got no pop, you know? Shakur is just a bigger word. Hold up, hold up. You said, hold, wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> let's, let's take it from the top. So you saying Richardson Hitches don't have no pop? No pop at all. Like, bro, like I think my my, my three year old niece punches harder than him. <laughs> okay. No pop. And then Hitches is just another bigger version of Shakur. So I mean, I see the same fate as Shakur. He's just gonna go as far as fucking t- uh, top rank takes care of him, you know. Hmm. Or whoever takes care of him, you know. Okay. And, um, who else did you say? Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is fast, and he has a very awkward and weird style, you know. And I personally think that's gonna take him far, and Deloitte is taking care of him really well, you know. And as long as as long as they don't throw him into no lion, he's gonna make a fuck ton of money in this sport, you know. Hmm. He's gonna make a lot of money in the sport as long as they don't throw him into a lion uh, early on in his career, you know. What are you trying to do? Like, 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 what do you see yourself in the, right now? Because, as you know, the sport is changing. The sport of boxing is changing. The zone, the zone, they just announced a great marketing digital platform. What do you see yourself in, in lines with Mayweather Promotions as well as the other competitors? that are either around you right now or even up and coming. Where do you see yourself? Um, I see myself, honestly, like, I can't say I'm at the top because on, in reality, I haven't fought anyone. I beat the fuck out of a lot of people, but I haven't fought anyone because I just haven't had the fight, you know, but I see myself being the top pound great, greatest one day. Say that again. Say that, say that louder and stronger. Say that again. I, I see myself as the pound for pound greatest one day, 
and mm. I, I I wanna I wanna clear out of everybody, you know. I I truly I truly believe that I'm gonna knock out every person that gets in the damn ring with me. Every mm. time I hop in the ring with somebody, that, my attitude changes completely. I, I I just wanna chop their head off, you know. I I wanna destroy them, you know. I wanna make it so they never box again. Mm. And, and I know it's bad, and... No, that ain't bad. That, that's just who you are. No, 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 no. no, no. It's, it's bad. It, it, it's something, you know, it's something terrible to say, but I want to make sure that they never box again. Every single person that gets in the room. So you're trying to end careers every time. Wait, hold up. You're right. Let me, let me, let me restart this. So you're trying to end careers every time somebody enter a ring with you. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be like Jado Trinidad, just knock out everybody, try to <laughs> just fuck up their careers so they can, they, you know? You said Tito, Felix. Yeah, Felix Trinidad. You don't know how many careers that nigga fucked up? He just fucked up with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Tito was a beast. Tito was definitely a beast, B. Real thought. He's one, my, he's one of my favorite fighters. Okay. Like just, beautiful hooks, you know, beautiful hooks. And, you know, he got knocked down fucked on the times, you know, but, but he got up and fucked everybody else up, you know? Yeah. Um, I still think he lost to De La Hoya, but, I mean, he's a fucking amazing fighter, you know? And he was, he was ending everybody's career. Well, you know, if, if matter of fact, that's, I, I like the way you just led into that real quick, because Tito fought, um, Oscar, and in my opinion, personally, in my opinion, and I'm going to ask you this question. In my opinion, I felt like De La Hoya won the fight. What's your thoughts on that? I guess, De you La know. No, yeah. there's, no, no, no. There's no doubt about that. De La Hoya was fucking terrified. And De La Hoya would just start grinding crap. He was terrified. He did not want to get cracked by Tito. You, know? you, 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 you think De La Hoya was scared of Tito? I, I think De La Hoya was scared of Tito. That's the only reason. That, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, fam, it's, it's boxing, like you know what I mean. It's boxing. <laughs> you don't have to, like, you know. Yeah, well, I'll let you turn that. I tell you this, Tito, in the later rounds, just becomes deadlier and deadlier. Every single round that passes, he becomes deadlier and deadlier, and he don't get tired. He never gets tired. Yeah. I, I, I personally think you he, he's one of the best conditioned boxers of all time. Got tired. Tito should have died. Yeah, he never gets tired. Best, whoa, 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 whoa. Tito should have died. Best conditioned fighters of all time. <laughs> no, no, no. One, one of them. One of them. One of them. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Tito should have died was definitely a beast. Tito should have died was definitely one of the best ever. 147, what's the weight? 154. Super worth weight or junior middleweight and 160 because I, I, I do believe or I could be mistaken. He fought at that weight. I don't really see him as good as he was when 160, honestly. Yeah, yeah. 160, I think he was kind of exhausted in the sense that, you know, he had to, you know, he went through a lot. But at the, but at the end of the day, like, you know, you know, I, I just don't. I salute I, I salute what you're saying. Uh, you know, I applaud what you're saying and all that. But I don't know, if you, you know, what you just said. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, back on you. Tell everybody, tell everybody your record once again. Tell everybody your record once again. I'm 4 and 0, 4 KOs. But I want to tell you something about Trinidad. I'm telling you, Trinidad... I'm being dead serious. I, I've honestly never seen him get hurt. In a fight. You know, he was always so. I'm not he's the best fighter of all time. I'm no, I'm nowhere near saying. I'm just saying he's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I I, I feel. Uh, I, I mean, I, I thought the lawyer won the fight regardless. Yeah. But the lawyer towards the end of the fight was scared. Yeah. Towards the end of the fight, he was scared, and there's no doubt about that. That's the reason why he lost. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I felt like he outboxed him early. You know, yeah, I, him early, but, but he, I mean, at least seven. 
in, in my opinion, even eight. But I know, you know, you know, <laughs> we 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 can go back and forth all day, every day about who won this point or who won that punch or who landed that, this, that, and the third, you know. But I definitely respect where you're coming from with that. I definitely understand and I, I definitely respect where you're coming from. Because cause I see where you're at with it. you like, man, F all that. I'm trying to take you out without a doubt. That's the focus right there. And that's, that's another thing about him. He was a finisher. If he hurt you, yeah. you're getting knocked out. Yeah. He was a finisher. He he made sure that he finished you, you know? Yeah. He made sure. If he landed a punch, once he starts, once he start, once he, what, anyways, um, once he landed a, once he landed a punch, he made sure he finished you. And your goal is to finish everybody that gets in the ring with you. Yeah, you have to have that killer mentality, you know? Well, an, another favorite fighter of mine, um, my favorite fighter of all time, is Prince Nassim Hamid. Hmm. Why is that? I just like him. I mean, he, he's one of the he's one of the greatest and one of the best ever southpaws featherweight. You know, what what is the reasons behind that? Yeah, he's one of the best featherweights of all time. Man. Yeah. He's gonna, be, he's gonna have that ranking for the rest of his life. Yeah. Why is he one? Why is he one of your favorite fighters ever? I just, uh, he was just a cocky, arrogant, um, he was just cocky, arrogant, and, uh, I mean, he backed up what he said, you know? He was backed up what he said. When he fought Ferreira, you know, I, I don't think he could have made the weight properly anymore, and his, both of his hands were shattered at that point of his career, you know? How did you know that? How did you know that both of his hands were shattered at that point? Well, he had a lot of hand problems throughout his career. Mm-hmm. He had to he had to inject his hands with uh with uh stuff called uh, he had to inject his hands so they so so uh, he would be able to fight. Okay. And at that point, you know, he wasn't the same. He wasn't making way, and he cried out one thirty that one fight right after Barrera, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm retired." Mm. He, he wasn't the same anymore, you know. Yeah. But I, I still believe that uh, he was a great fighter, and he gave everybody problems. He's, I'm not saying he's the best fighter of all time, but he's my favorite. I feel you, Riley. I I need to I need to ask you this question, and I I want to keep it a buck with you. Where, where where do you see your career going, or what do you want to do with your career as that? You know, multi division world champ, uh, pound for pound best. Uh, Ranking, uh, being ranked for the, re- for, for the rest of my life as, a, as one of the pound for pound greatest, you know. It, it, it's, it's hard to say who's the pound for pound greatest because there's so many greats out there and so many different eras, you know. But as long as I'm a, among uh, them, I'm happy, you know. Yeah. Because, because you know, you ask, you ask somebody, everyone different, you know, you have a different opinion, you know. Some people say Floyd's the best. Some people say Duran's the best. Some people say Robinson's the best. Some people say uh, Ali's the best, you know, and some, which, you know, everybody has a different opinion, you know. Facts. So you, 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 you go to Mexico, you ask somebody, they say Chavez is the best. So you, so you just want to be the best of everything. I want to be the best of everything. I want to win division. I want to win belts in every single division I fight in. I want to become multi division champ. I, I want to. I want to be undefe- I want to end my career undefeated. Unify every single belt. Knock everybody out. End my record was. Well, I ended at fifty and zero. I want to end it at fifty one and fifty two and zero. Or if somebody passes Floyd for for whatever reason, fifty two and zero. Or fifty three and zero. Fifty four and zero. You know, and fifty four knockout. <laughs> okay. So now you currently, so you currently sign with Mayweather Promotions, correct? Yes. And you're working with the team. You you know you're doing what you need to do. You're putting in the work in the gym. When is your next fight? August third. August third. And where are you fighting at? Here in Vegas at a, at a casino called Sam's Town. Okay. My next fight, my next fight's gonna be televised. Hmm. And where is that at? I'm not sure yet. 
but they're promising they're promising me a televised stop so I'm excited for that. And um, I feel it's going to be the first of the rest of my career is going to be all televised, everything. Okay. For continued for continue support, where can they follow you? Um, where can uh, they follow me on Instagram at Rollies, R O L L I E S S S. And on Twitter at Sign Up for KO. And let me ask you this question. Why, why, you, you, you are like, you know, in a position. You just want to take over all of everybody, right? Yeah, I just want to be clear with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause you, you are Raleigh. <laughs> you know? I want, I want everybody. Say it again, bro. I want everybody. No, you are all the smoke, right? <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, I know. I make you. Sure, I know. I sound arrogant and all this stuff, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, if you ain't, if you ain't arrogant in this sport, it, 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 people start to eat at you, son. And I'm, no, I'm not gonna. I don't have no damn time for that bullshit, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. In my mind, in my mind, I'm gonna be the pound for pound greatest of this sport in a few years, and I'm gonna start acting like it right now. Sure. That is true because, like I said early in, in, in the conversation, you know, it's like we we are 30 minutes right now. But like I said early in the conversation, it's like everybody's oh rally this, rally that, you know, rally rally da da da, da rally. You know, I'm like okay, uh, let me have that son. Let me see what's good with fan. Let me let me have that fan. Let me see what's good with it. You know what I mean? I'm based in New York. You know what I mean? And, and so I'm like. And I fucks with Richardson Hitchens. I fucks with Shaquille Stevenson's. And, and I fuck with Boxer, you know. So I'm like, yeah. let me have that rally. Let me see what's good with son, you know. And I, I want to know the real. I want I want to know what what's, what what the fuck is going on. I want to know, you know what I mean, how, how how everybody came up, the story behind everything, and where everybody at with it, training, sparring, all that. Like you said, you want all the smoke? I want all the smoke. I want to know what the fuck is going on. And I fucks with everybody. And I want to know how long and what's going to pop. And, 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 and the great thing is, you know, they both, they have both of y'all signed up together. So, you know, y'all two can get some, some good work. You know, you and Richardson Hitchens. And, and I want to see that work. You know, I want to see both of y'all careers as well as Shakir's progress. And, and, and I just want y'all to take over the sport, man. Because all of y'all are good. All of y'all, are, all of y'all. Are... I say this: we're, we're, we're the new generation. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you say that, I, I want to say this: all of y'all are great fighters. You know, y- y'all are like the backbone of the sport right now. You, Shakir, you know what I mean, Richardson Hitchens. Like y- y'all, are the backbone of the sport right now. As well as Ryan, like y- y- y'all, y'all the back end. You know what I mean? So, and, and, and as well as truck and tank, you know, I want to see all y'all progress. But I love the, 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 the competitive nature between all y'all, man. It's beautiful. It's amazing. You know what I mean? Go ahead, you can talk. Go ahead. I, I want to ask you a question. Who, who's your, who, who's your top five pound for pound list right now? My top, my top five, my top five right now? I'm old school. I'm talking about current, current active fighters. Currently? Yeah. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Triple G, Terrence Crawford. That's three, right? Yeah. Top five? Okay. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Terrence Crawford. I would have to say Triple G. And Keith Thurman. That's my top five. Mine, um, I have Crawford. I have Crawford as number one. I did say Crawford. Crawford. I did say Terrence Crawford. Did I not? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? No, I'm just saying I have Crawford as number one. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see Crawford spend. I mean, I mean, top five. Top. You, you said top five, and Deontay Wilder because. 
simple fact that bong, 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 bong. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> He's going to fuck Joshua up. I'm, I'm sorry, but he's going to fuck Joshua up. I think Big Baby going to fuck Joshua up before Deontay Wilder. That's my thing. <laughs> That's where I come from at. And I mean, Big Baby, salute. That's my fanbo. He going he gonna to fuck up Joshua before Deontay Wilder. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody wants that Joshua Wilder fight by Joshua. I mean, Wilder going to fuck him up. Uh, Canelo Triple G, uh, I, I thought Canelo won the first time, personally, but... Actually, I, actually, I felt like Triple G. I, I, I like the fact that you asked me a question. That's 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 what's up, because, you know, you and I are conversing on a lot of things, and we, we talk about a lot of things, and it's great that you asked me a question about how I feel about boxing, because you yourself, you the, you the man. You step in the ring all day, every day. You... You deliver the punches, you receive the punches, or you slip and dodge and all that. So I appreciate you asking me this question. And, and you know, yeah, definitely. I think, I think, I, personally, I think Triple G won the first fight. Real talk. I, fir- I felt like Triple G won the first fight. It was a fantastic fight. The first fight, damn. Real talk. The first fight, I felt like Triple G won the fight. But, you know, I could see where others said that Canelo won the fight, you know. Like, for instance, my dad thought Triple G won the fight. I personally thought Canelo won it. Uh, I feel Canelo's going to win it uh, one-sided this time. Say that again? I feel Canelo's going to win it one-sided this time. You think he's going to win it one-sided this time? Yeah. I, I, I I would hope not. I would hope that Triple G would catch up on the the speed of punches. Because Canelo's gonna be pop, 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 moving, 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 pop, 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 moving, moving, moving. That's the, that's the problem with between Triple G and Canelo. Triple G is just like a machine, a tank. He comes forward, you know, all this stuff. You know, he's like a tank. You know, Can, uh, Canelo actually adapts. I think that's gonna be the 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 factor here. That's gonna be the factor. Yeah. It's gonna be the changing factor in this fight. Canelo's, uh, Canelo was already adapting toward the end of the fight of Triple G. Uh, yeah, and I, I agree. I feel it's going to be, a, I, think it's, I, I, I still think it's going to be a great fight, but it's going to be one-sided for Canelo. I agree. Now, now Spence Crawford, that fight, I, I feel Crawford bought too beautifully backwards to, uh, for Spence to have a chance, like uh, because Spence uh, is more of a just a come forward boxer, and and uh, Spence is a boxer puncher, but Crawford is a lot more evasive and throws really tricky shots. I, I, and Crawford's footwork is amazing. Crawford's just an amazing boxer altogether. Let's keep it a buck. Crawford is a beast. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I can't say, I can't yeah. Say about yeah, it's like you know, what it, it, Crawford reminds me of a. He reminds me of a. I don't even know what to remind me of. Like you can't, you can't figure him out. You, you just don't know what you're gonna see or experience when he steps into the ring. You just don't know what you're gonna get from Terrence Bud Crawford, and. He's so skilled, he's so gifted, he's so talented, and damn, he has a fuck. He has a like, like, like. Let, I'm gonna keep it a like, like you. You don't give a fuck. You wanna fuck everybody up. You wanna knock motherfuckers out. You wanna be the bad nigga. Blood already been there. He already did it. He done done it a hundred times over, and he's doing it again. Blood is the truth. Blood is that bad. He's the beast. He's the he's the he's the guy that you know. Before you go anywhere. You gotta see Bud. You got, and, and, and then on top of that, even before you see Bud, there's levels to get to Bud. You know what I mean? So he's the truth, B. He's the truth. Real talk. He's the truth. Floyd himself, Floyd himself said that Crawford's the number one pound for pound. Oh, in, in my opinion, facts right now. Bud is number one. Errol Spence is number two, and I would say Manny is number three. And, that, and, and, and yeah, absolutely. And I was. Uh, 
don't yeah. think my girl's on that list anymore. I said no. I said number three. I didn't say number one or four or five. <laughs> I said. I don't, think he's, I don't think. I personally don't think he's on that list at all anymore. I mean, he's an old man, you know. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 are you? But but but, but, but let me ask you this question. Would would you fight Betty right now? I know you would. <laughs> Facts. But all I'm saying is like, are you willing to take that ass with her though? <laughs> you how much can't take no damn ass whooping from no from from no pack down, man. Shit, I'll do the same shit for did to him. What you gonna do? Okay, hold up. Let me, let me start over with that. Let me start over with that question. The same shit that Floyd Mayweather that you signed, Floyd Mayweather forces you are down with the team. Like you just said, you will do the same thing that Floyd did to Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. See, see, there's there's one thing people don't notice about me. Okay, let let them know, let them know, fam. This is what I'm talking. Let them know. I'm, I'm a very uh, I'm very explosive and very unpredictable. Mm. So it only takes it only takes one punch for me to say that that will fuck you up. You know, Pacquiao's been exposed so many times. You know, he's got exposed by Marcus, by Floyd. Uh, He's had, he had a lot of wars, you know, and they see a lot of, uh, I, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not taking nothing away from Pacquiao as being a great fighter. He's an 11 uh, time fourth, he's an 11 time world champion. It's okay, uh, keep going. No, 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 he's an amazing fighter, and he's going to be in the pound. Like, like Jay Z and Freeway say, keep fighter. going. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a old, he's an old man, you know, and, you know. You really think he's an old man? Riley, Riley, real talk. You really think he's an old man? I think he's an old man. Wow. Wow. Riley, fam, he's an 11 time world champion. He's he, he, he a fourth, you know, your promoter. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Yeah, but, well, like I said, you know, you're only going to go as far as your body lets you, you know? Mm, facts. I feel you on that. Let's say it like this. I'm, I'm going to use Bernard Hopkins as an example. You can't do that. Bernard, Bernard Hopkins is a truly great defensive fighter, a fighter, a dirty fighter. I learned a lot from watching him and both him and Andre Ward, you know? Mm. Because I personally think that they're the, the, the most dirtiest fighters in the sport. That mm. everything, you know? Talk on that. Um, talk on that. You talk on that. Huh? Let, let, let me finish the thing about Packer. Okay. So, but Hopkins has always been a, a small fighter. He was never a fast fighter, you know? So he was he was able to... Hopkins one of my top five all the, all the time, man. My top yeah. five, is, my top five is Roy. What's your top five? Matter of fact, what's your top five? Um, shoot, it, it, it's hard, you know, because I, you know, I have Floyd in there, I have Robinson in there. Oh, of course, of course. There. My my top five is my top five is Roy, Zab Judah, Floyd Mayweather, Shane Mosley, B Hop. And I said Shane Mosley, right? Yeah. Okay. I beat up Judah when I was a kid. Who? What? I beat up Judah when I was a kid. Judah who? Zab. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm not joking. Talk to me. I beat him up. I'm going to knock them out like 10 seconds into the sparring session. Get the fuck out of here. Talk to me, yeah. nigga. And, and, and they, 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 they didn't want to spar. They're like, oh, that he's he's not. Cause I was nineteen at the time. They're like, oh, he's a kid. We don't want to spar. Amateurs. My dad's like, no, 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 put him in, put him in, dude. And so I I go in, I go in, and I, and I act like I'm scared of him. You know, I let him tap my arm, and you know, like I like, you know, I like, like you know, like freak out a little bit. Hey, let him tap my arm again. The second he goes to do that, the third time, boom! I hit him with a hook and a right hand. Do I almost dropped his ass? Do I left him wall wall without beating the hell out of him? But yeah, he's a he's a great fighter. He's a great fighter, you know, and uh, he gave foot problems. I almost, I almost I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna knock him out. And he, he started, you know, talking shit and all this stuff, you know. And he was like, "Oh, oh, I, I, I'm the best ever." I'm like, "Yeah, that's why Floyd fucked you up." <laughs> so you telling me you? So you telling me you gave Zab Jew the work? Yeah, I did. Okay. They know me. They know me. Okay. 
he's a great fighter. He, and um, I, I feel that uh, Zab's prop, uh, Zab is one of the most underrated uh, uh, fighters as far as speed goes. He, I think Zab's probably the one of the fastest fighters I've ever seen. He's one so, of the fastest fighters I've so, ever seen. So, so, the, so, so the main thing is that he would gas out. If he's one of the fastest fighters that you ever seen, or that one of the fastest fighters that a lot of people ever seen, how were you able to land a punch on him? I'm explosive. I'm talk extremely on. explosive, and I'm unpredictable. Talk on that. Talk talk on the explosiveness and the unpredictable. I'm just, I'm just, I just have one. I punch hard, and two, I'm just very unpredictable. It, okay. it, it's, hard, it's, hard, it's hard to time me. There, there's no, way, there's very, there's almost no way to time me. There's almost no way to time me because I, I change tempo. It, it, it's like, it's like Regan Dell, for instance. So let, let's use Regan Dell. Regan Dell is extremely hard to time. Regan Dell, you, you can. Yeah, all right. You almost cannot time Regan Dell. But Lomachenko did. <laughs> Lomachenko, uh, Regan Dell is an old man. He, Regan Dell is what four years older than whatever his weight, uh, what, whatever his uh, his true age is. Regan Dell's an old man. He moved up two weight divisions. Lom- mm-hmm. Lomachenko didn't do shit, and Lomachenko still didn't do shit to him. Okay. Lomachenko could not do shit to him. He was just too big for Regan Dell, and Regan Dell's an old man. He's nowhere near as uh, as explosive what he used to be, you know? Like I said, back to what I was saying with, with Pacquiao and Hockey, right? Hockey has always been a, a slow fighter. He wasn't a fast fighter. He, he would get people because of his timing and um, his brain, you know? Okay. Let's use Pacquiao and Regan Dell, for example, you know? Once a fast fighter that's always been fast his entire life gets old and loses his speed, they don't go. They don't go farther anymore. It happened to Roy Jones. It happened. It happened to a lot of fighters. You know. I understand. The, the, sec, the second they lose their speed, it ain't the same no more. Mm. So you've been analyzing and assessing everything from day one. I watch everybody talk, but I watch everybody. I, I pay attention to everything. I, I, t- I pick up the tricks from everybody. I, 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 I watch everybody. You know, I, I'm fascinated by this sport. You know, my, my favorite fighter. Is, I mean, my favorite fighter is Prince Nassim, but I, I still think like Duran. I feel Duran was. Like I said, it's hard to tell the, the top off, but like Duran is one of my favorite fighters of all time. Roberto. Roberto Duran. I don't think that there's a better inside fighter than Roberto Duran. Hmm. And the best lightweight of all time to me is Roberto Duran. The best lightweight of all time. Roberto Duran. And you want to and you want to push your career to where? Me? Yeah, yes, you. I'm 135 pounds. I'm at 135 right now. Uh, I'm growing every day. So 140, 147, 154, maybe even 160. 160? Yeah, I might be too small for 160. I know I'm gonna be too small for 168, but I think I could probably hold my own at 60. Hmm. Well, 154 for sure. 147 for sure. 140 for sure. Okay. I I don't know. I I look I look at Kodo and Kodo wasn't too big for 160. That's why I say 160. You know, but I, like I said, 160 is still like the 160 counters now are massive. You know. That's why you know I I don't really see too much of it. I know I'm I know I'm gonna fight at 140, 147, 154. Hmm. Okay. All right. So when is your next fight? Uh, August third. And where is that? 
Jamstown. It's a casino here in Vegas. You know your opponent? Some guy from Loretta. Huh? Some guy from Texas from Loretta. Does it matter? It don't matter. I'm from <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck it. I don't care. Fuck it. I will fuck him up anyway, right? I'm sure I had a fucking 9 and 0 guy pulled out my last move, my last fight, and I didn't get a fight. I had like, I think it was like six people that pulled out of my last fight, and I didn't get a fight. Hmm. Yeah. Remember, promotions having a little trouble getting your fights now. Why is that? Well, everybody knows who I am. <laughs> That's because you beat motherfuckers up. <laughs> You like fuck it, I don't. You like fuck it, I got, I got to do what I got to do. Fuck it. <laughs> but, but they told me that they, they literally told me to stop posting knockout videos. Why is that? Or is making it harder for for is making it harder for them to get in their fight. Hmm. Hmm. So in the sense that you're out there, you work, you you. you you are who you are. You are a young prospect. Right? Yeah. You're working hard. You got you got power. Everybody knows you got power. Everybody knows you you can fight. Everybody knows once you land that punch, that's it. It's over. And that one punch knockout power. Yeah, yeah. You have that. So now it's like, you know, okay, boom. Let us not ex, 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 let us not expose or let everybody know what we have right here within him. Therefore, I I I don't I don't really I don't really see much much importance in uh, in like telling me not to post anything honestly because honestly they're they're gonna know who I am. they're they're gonna know everything about me soon everybody's everybody's gonna know everything about me you know. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not, there's no damn mystery about me. They, they know I. There, there's. I don't think you can ask anybody in the world right now that that knows who I am. Does Roby punch hard? And they think no. The fuck no. They ain't gonna say no. They're gonna be like, yeah, that motherfucker punch hard. Is better be careful with him. <laughs> as far as like them knowing what else I can do in the ring, I, I don't know because my fights end quick. You know, my sparring sessions end quick. You know, and it, and the, the people that have been in the ring with me. They know the truth about me. What do you they learn? Know. Let me ask you this. What do you learn in the sparring sessions? Like, what do I like learn? Yeah, like, like you know, the technical style and everything. Because at the end of the day, you can't knock out everybody. Sure, I've been knocking out everybody in the damn gym. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I understand that. I, 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 <laughs> it, 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 look, I'm going to tell you this. This camp has been the hardest camp of my life because I can't get no sparring. Nobody wants to spar me. It's the most fucking stupid shit ever. Nobody wants to spar me. I've had so many people, they don't want to spar me. They don't want to spar me. It's fucking pain in the ass, you know? Yeah. I have to I have to move around with, 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 with a few amateur kids, and I can't even throw punches at them because, I, you know, I hit, I hit them too hard, and they, I knock them out. <laughs> bang, bang, gone. <laughs> it's what well, I, I've, it, already caught, I've already caught three bodies this camp. Yeah. Are you working with anybody that's like, let me ask you this. Are you working with anybody that's like, you know, with, with, you know, signed to the team that's, you know, preparing for fights? Are they, uh, hey, let me work with, uh, Riley real quick? Or no? Nah? No, 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 no. I had to call May with the promotion to be like, hey, man, hey, can you, I, I, I called them, right? And I was like, hey, can you guys give me some sparring? They're like, oh. Wait, wait, wait. So I I I I had called them right, and I was like, "Hey, can you guys give me some sparring?" They're like, "All right." And then they're like, "Oh, we have this guy for you." They go, "I'm not gonna say no names, you know." And I, and I go ask, I, I go I go the next day, you know, and they ask them, and they're like, "They're like, oh no no no, we well, we got sparring, we got work with somebody else, we got some work with somebody else." I'm like, "Bro," and I call back, I'm like, "Hey, but they don't want to spar me." Mm-hmm. And then they're like, "They're like, okay, we'll we'll go get you work." And I'm like, they never called me back. I was like, "Man, it's really shit. I'll get my own shit." 
So so it's not just it's not just about getting me a fight. It's about they, they can't even get me. I, I can't even get sparring. I can't get shit. Mm. So you know, so, so the, I, 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 I'm not even exaggerating this. I knocked out probably eight out of ten guys. So in a sense, you're not really getting the work that you need, but you 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 have the skills, you have the power, but you're not getting the you're not getting the work that you need to excel your craft. You're not getting the work that you need to like stretch out what you you know what you, what you can really do on a on, on a on a on a later scale in a sense, in my opinion. I still learn. I still learn regardless. Of course, of course, of course. Regardless, regardless whether I spar or anything, you know, I'm, I'm, there's just some people that, uh, that can learn just from watching people, you know, and I, I, I adapt, I adapt really well to any situation I'm in. Yeah. And I think that that's what's carried me more than my power than anything, just me being able to adapt to Almost every single fighter I've ever fought, or sparred, or whatever, you know. So you, so you haven't sparred with Floyd, right? I've never sparred with Floyd. Do you want to? Of course, you know, for the just to just to learn, you know, just to learn. And what else? Uh, not, don't, don't don't sleep. Don't, don't, don't hit me with the boo boo. <laughs> not, 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 not even just to learn. To see where I'm at truly as a fighter. Facts. I've, I've stopped, I stopped a few world champions. You know, I, I stopped a few world champions. The few world champions I sparred. Who? Who? I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you. Come on, know. come on, fam. I'm, 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 I'm not throwing no shots. I know, I know. No I know. I'm not gonna throw no shots. But yeah. I, I've stopped, I've stopped a good number of world champions. Okay. And, uh, a, a, a lot more than uh, a someone uh, with my experience uh, should have. Mm. And, and you know, I I I I would do it to see where I am truly as a fighter. Okay. And it, it comes out to any world champion or anything. You know, I would do it just to see where I'm at truly as a fighter. You know. I mean, as long as there's not no damn one sixty pounder or something, you know, something that's not my weight class, mm -hmm. I'll put on the boot whoever. What is your ideal weight? What is your ideal um, fighting class? What is? What, what do you like? In a sense, what do you feel comfortable fighting at? Like, okay, this is where I'm comfortable at, and I can run everything. I I don't need to go up. I don't need to go down. I'm good right here. Where is your ideal class at? Weight class. 147, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 147. 147. Why? Well, that's where, that's the, I personally think that's the most, that, that's the best division possible. That's where the, that's the most challenging division. That's the most, it's, that, that division always packed with fighters. Yeah. All, always packed with competition. Yeah. You don't think so. You don't think 147 is always packed. Of course. Because 147 is, it's like if, ends, and arounds. You know, it's like you can drop down to 140, 142, 143, 147, 154, 160. You can, you, you, you can do whatever you need to do. I'm not talking about you per se. I'm just talking about the weight class like we just talked about. It's like boom, 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 right there. It's locked in. You can, you can bounce around from, if you, if you if you can maintain the weight and and the focus on whatever fights that are projected or presented to you, you could lock into okay, boom, we got a contract signed, sealed, lock into him right there, one forty two, one forty, one forty one, one forty five, boom, we got that. Okay, boom. If we we can't make that, then boom, we at one forty seven. We lock in the contract, 147, boom. If we can't make that, boom, we at 154. It's like, you know, and, and if you need to step to 160, there's, there's no need, real talk, there's no need to step to 160 because you can just lock into all weight classes under 160. 160 is like, 160 is like the, the, the max 
you know, the max. Right now, for you, like you said, no, who you uh, are. All my fights for for now, until I win a world title, is going to be 135 regardless. Because yeah. Because that's my natural weight. Yeah. That's where I belong right now. But, I mean, my ideal weight, where I know I'm going to be my best at, is 147. Yeah. That's the goal. That's the way, that's the way I'm going to be my best at. Yeah. All right, Riley. You 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 ready to go, B? You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. You got the you got the plan. You got it all laid out, B. And you like fuck everybody in between. <laughs> uh, I I I really I don't I don't even know what to say. <laughs> fuck everybody up. Like, facts. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And, and, hey, I appreciate the time. I see, I see what you're doing. I feel you on that. And, and you know what? I see, I see what's about to pop. You, you focus, man. You know, you focus. Like, you like, fuck everybody, man. You want some, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm here now. This is what I need to do for me. It's not about anybody else. It's about my life. And you ready to let them go. You know, you ready to let the hands go. Everybody looking at you. Everybody, you know, blah, 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 blah. I peep game. I see what it is online. I see the IG. I see the social media. You know, I, I see what it is. You know, I, I, I see I, I see the greatness that's going on not only with yourself. I see the greatness that's going on. With other fighters around you, in your circumference, and you got it. You 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 locked in. You know you locked in. I peep game. You locked in. You ready? Yeah. So let me ask you this one last question. What do you want Floyd to do for you? What do I want Floyd to do for me? Um, the only thing he can do is find me consistently. That's the only thing I need. That's the only thing I need. To, that's the only thing I need to prove it, everything. I can't hear you. Say that again. Just to fight consistently. That's the only thing I need to prove. Uh, that's the only thing I need to prove to fight consistently. Okay. I can prove everything if I just fight consistently. I I, I don't I don't need money. I, I make my own money, boss. I don't need, I don't need this, I don't need that. No, nah, don't say that. No, don't say you don't need no money. <laughs> joke, joke. No, no, but, no, no, but I'll make my own money boxing, you know? Yeah. No, that's, all I care. that's all I care about, fighting. That's all, that's all I give a shit about. You just want the opportunity. Opportunity. To fight. Fight. And if I fight, I make me hungry. All right. All right, man. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the interview, man. No doubt. No doubt. All day, every day. I'm here, man. You got my math? You got my number? Lock, lock in. i hit you up. All right. All right, then. Thank you.